Ben Bulbin is a large rock formation in Ireland. It is in a part of Ireland known as Yates Country, though it is officially in the Irish county of Sligo. As I walk across the fields, I'll avoid the steep face of Ben Bulbin and will approach the mountain from the less steep side. If climbed by the north face, it is a dangerous climb. That side bears the brunt of the high winds and storms that come in from the Atlantic Ocean. However, if climbed by the south side, it is an easy climb due to the fact that side slopes very gently. Today I will be climbing it from the east. The slope is relatively steep but not as vertical as the northern face. Ben Bulbin was formed during the Ice Age when large parts of the earth were under glaciers. It was originally merely a large ridge, however the moving glaciers cut into the earth, leaving a distinct formation now called Ben Bulbin. There is very little navigational skills needed to climb Ben Bulbin, as the summit is visible from the start and is at a modest height of 526 metres. This part of the climb is as steep and as dangerous as it gets. The rock is really loose and it's giving way underneath as I walk on it. That's the hardest part of the walk over with. I now have about an hour to go walking through this boggy wetland. Ben Bulbin hosts a unique variety of plants, possessing some organisms found nowhere else in Ireland. Many are Arctic alpine plants due to the mountain's height, which allows for cooler temperatures than is normal. These plants were deposited when the glaciers that created Ben Bulbin melted. I have to admit, the first hour of that walk is really difficult, but from here on in I'm on relatively level ground, so it should be easy going. Upon reaching the summit, the climber is rewarded with a magnificent view of Yates country. I've reached my destination for today, which in fact was not the summit of Ben Bulbin, because in a way there is no summit to this mountain, the top of it is broad and flat. Instead what I wanted to get from today was this great panoramic view of County Sligo below me. Sligo is referred to as Yeats country after the famous poet W.B. Yeats was buried in Drum Cliff. His grave is open to the public and regularly visited. The famous poem under Ben Bulbin, written by W.B. Yeats, is basically a description of Yeats country. It describes the sights that he saw in Yeats country. The following is an excerpt from Under Ben Bulbin. Under bare Ben Bulbin's head. In Drum Cliff churchyard Yeats is laid. An ancestor was rector there. Long years ago a church stands near, by the road an ancient cross, no marble, no conventional phrase, on limestone quarried near the spot, by his command these words are cut. Cast a cold eye on life, on death, horseman pass by. Several kilometres from Ben Bulbin is Glencar Lake, which is a popular area for boating and fishing. Close to the lake is Glencar Waterfall. A small walk through a wooded area will bring you to this impressive site, where a small stream forms an impressive cascade. This beautiful setting inspired the William Butler Yeats poem, The Stolen Child. <laughs> 